Okay, so the first question in front of you is the US Postal Service is looking for a new machine to help sort the mail. So the machine will sort the mails, separate or arrange. Two companies have submitted bids to Cliff Craven. The postal inspector responsible for choosing so they have submitted the bids to Cliff Craven and uh, is the inspector who is responsible for picking a machine. So the machines are here. Machine A and machine B is given and their cash flow analysis can be done here. Machine A's investment is around $30,000. Machine B's investment is even $30,000. Both are having same in both in both the machines. We need to put the same investment, but here it is giving no cash flows in the first three years and 60,000 in the final year. This is giving 13,000 every year, right? They are now asking you if the cost of capital for postal service is 8%. That is, this is the required rate of return, it seems. If that machine you take and uh, you like, uh, in the sense, generate some cash flows, some return, every investor will be, or everyone will be expecting some return from an investment. And uh, which of the two sorters should Cliff choose and why? So what we will do here is uh, we they are saying that machine B because IRR of A is bigger than B. So like IRR of this is bigger than this, then why would be taking uh, like, like uh, that machine which has a, a like you know lesser IRR? Do you think can be taken? Hello. Yes, I know. And uh, like in the sense. If we are like considering two machines, we will we have a better method to do that. That is NPV, right? So what we'll do, we'll cal since the investment is the same. See, the investments are not something like we are putting some point, some 50,000 here. We are putting some 100,000 here. The investment is equal, right? There is it's like similar investment. So the best method to uh, take decision would be what? As you have already seen in the videos, I was always uh, like uh, you know pressing on NPV, right? Yes. This is the method which is always the superior method for decision making. So now what I want you to do is you can find out the NPV of machine A, you can find out the NPV of machine B, and we can understand which machine to pick because any of the two investments, uh, what we are taking into consideration here, this is an a mutually exclusive product. Like we have to take only one. So one of the machine will give you more NPV than the other. So the higher NPV one is the one which we need to consider, right? Yes. So let's calculate now. So here we have the cash flow in the in the fourth year. So 60,000 into 1 by 1.08 whole power 4. Please tell me what's the answer. And here since these are four like, you know, cash flows which are similar cash flows every year. So can we use present value of annuity here? Yes, sir. 13,000 into present value of annuity factor at the rate of 8% for four years. Right? Mm -hmm. So we will take 60,000 into, just calculate and tell me. 44,101 equals to, equals. No, yeah, what is the, the factor is, 44,102 you are saying, right? So I think it is this 44,102 and the investment is 30,000. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'm removing the investment and what I'm getting the NPV is, this is the present value of cash inflows minus out present value of cash outflow. What's the difference? 14,102. Okay, and we will do that for the uh, like machine B in one thirteen thousand into what's the annuity factor? I think three point three one two. Just multiply this and tell me what's the cash flow minus thirty thousand you need to do. Answer is 13,056. Yeah, this is like 43,058. 
so that is 13058 let's say approximate and i can see npv of a is more than npv of b what is the difference between these two npvs One thousand. One thousand. Forty-four. Yeah. So this is the answer. It's going right. Yes, sir. Yeah. So shall I move forward? You're noting down. I'll note. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Second question. So we should understand the question. An accountant has prepared an analysis. So as we have seen an analysis in the previous question, similar kind of analysis has been done of a proposed capital project using discounted cash flow techniques. So what is what is happening is an accountant has prepared an analysis of a proposed capital project using DCF techniques. OK, so they have uh, done an analysis of some project using this. One manager has questioned the accuracy of the results because the discount factors employed in the 